My people, my people, my people, Matt Olson. I know people have been asking, have been asking for this guy right here. They want the Castro Bros to talk about Matt Olson because he's a guy that he's been hitting a lot of home runs. And this year, 2023, he's kind of hot. He's been hey, hitting. Hey. Uh, hey. Hot, <laughs> hitting, hitting. I didn't know that from you, uh, man. That's just, what happened there, man? He's been it's okay. It's okay. Everybody's you acceptable. You're gonna let me finish? Huh? You're gonna let me finish? That's why you're single. You're gonna let me finish? He 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 got 35 home runs this year already. All right. So the power is there for sure. All right. Everybody got different stands of hitting, and that's why. But well, everybody trying to get in the same position and the same separation. Now, he's a little bit, he, the way he, he go, he got the hands a little bit away, like this, and far away. So, he tried to create the separation from there, or create the, the rhythm and timing from from here all the way back. Sometimes that's uh, that works for some players to, to create, like, to feel on timing and, and get there, you know, and get, uh, get the separation. Now, the front foot. He touch, he the toe tap. He do the toe tap. He go back, touch, and then when the pitch about to release, then he start moving forward. And the hands start moving back. As you can see the elbow back there, so he getting the separation. So he start getting the pulling through the ball, through the song with the bat. Okay? Uh, but he, he, he went down on that pitch. He went down. He went down on top of the ball? Yeah. Yeah, right. He did that. Now. Look at that. Yeah, that's down. Can you stop down. saying that? Because then they're going to believe you. <laughs> so the new people are going to believe you that we teach down to the ball. No, I've been sarcastic. Yeah. Don't believe me. Look it. So now, he his try is big. His try is big. Now... Can this say? can this be can this be a problem? <laughs> yes. Uh, why? Because when you strike too big, then you have to adjust some time because now you give uh, you probably do this. So when you step, he keep moving forward and then he had to adjust. If you see a ninety eight inside or or he maybe gonna swing off pitch and he gonna be out of out of his back leg too quick, you know. Uh, the other part is when he stretch, he keep that front shoulder down, so this is good. And the back hip stay coiled. The back hip stay back, right? So he keep the power really well when he That's move money. forward. So that create uh, the good stretch. Now his hands they're way too high and, and far, right? And we know we got out. Uh, who is it? Acuna. No. Altuve. Well, yes, but like Otani. Oh, Otani. Otani, he he a little bit away with his, with the hands a little bit. So I feel like normally when kids hit the, with the hands this far, it's because that giving chance to start getting the pull of the hands, you know. But the problem is sometimes create disconnection, and then you have to like uh, start manipulating your hands a little bit. Okay. Uh, because you can see when he start doing, when he start turning, then he he turning the he turning barrel, but then he had to bring the hands back in, you know. And then he adjust through it. Now, well, let's compare him with the with the best. When best he, hitter. When he move forward, they move they move the right way. But now, when he when body bones move forward. This is it. This is a stretch of Barry Bond. As you can see, the hands close to the shoulders, there, he's right there. So he got more chances to make better decisions or be uh, attacked better and be consistent with the attack. And right? see the ball better. See the ball better. So that's why, as you can see, when he turned the back leg, he tilt and he don't pass this line. Okay, he stay <clears throat> behind. That allow him, that's a clean swing. And another thing, look at the hands. Hands are, hands are connected, clean, yeah. connected right there. So he turning the barrel right there. Money, 
Okay, mm-hmm. that that that's just for whatever pitch. It's not like a oh outside pitch you're gonna do that inside pitch. No, no, no. Every pitch start there. If you're a dinosaur, you will think that you would think oh this is also is for this inside is for this no, no, high no, pitch no. is for this. Look, that sounds stupid saying that. Just like you, dinosaur. And the other part right here for him, when he goes to the stretch, if I compare him with Barry Bones, as you can see, he keep moving forward. At the same time, he's turning. Now, I don't say that he's going to be bad. I'm saying, like, he could probably be better. If you don't believe me, well, that's on you because videos don't lie. And I see plenty of people changing their career for better or changing their career for worse. Now, if I copy and simulate this mechanic of bar, uh, body bones, I'm sure if I do it right, I will be better hitter. Now, uh, how, how many strikeouts he got? 100 something, right? Um, yeah, 100 something. Let me so, it. he's a, bit, a little long swing, you know? He's just trying to just hit over the fence. And he was, he's doing it. 123 strikeout this year. Uh, he and then he hitting over uh, two fifty something. He hitting two fifty nine, two fifty nine. So uh, he got thirty five home runs. Okay, so he's hitting home runs. Yes. Hitting for power, but this little detail it will allow him to see the ball more if he if he more more clean like Barry Bonds. Plus the hands when they're so far away. He, he had to connect them again and then try to manipulate just a little bit sometimes because the hands are so far. And then when he, had, he had to start turning, then he had to start bringing it. Same time, obviously, he had to manipulate sometimes because the ball is inside. He had to just bring it in or whatever, but he's still getting this right energy. It's like turning. Mm-hmm. So if if he clean, all this and if he come. clean that swing a little bit more. He can hit 60. He can hit 60 easily. 60 and hit all. He can be a more dangerous. Yeah. He's still, he's a dangerous Probably hitter right now. Strike less. But he strike can be less. a way more dangerous hitter. Yeah. With this is less just, strikeouts, so stuff, stuff like that. Uh, and I see him practicing. Uh, I see him before. I see him like bringing the barrel how it is. You know, like not. I don't see him like working on the, on the turn on the wrist. But I see him like. Getting the connection, bringing the shoulders and the barrel, you know. So I see him doing that, you know. So he's got an idea. He don't. I don't see him going on top of the ball, chopping it down, or or straight to the ball. I see him getting on plane. But oh, uh, he's a little bit big. We can clean that more. You can clean that more. You can walk more. Your average is gonna go up. Consistency is gonna be more, and he can be MVP. He still can sure. be. He can hit more home runs. Yes. So. People, that's the thing about this. It's just to see more details, more than just athletic ability. If we just talk about the athletic abilities, it's going to be plenty of, of plenty of things that you we maybe don't see it. But, like, the ability is there. All these MLB players, they got the ability. Now, once they get the like a clean mechanics or they start walking more or they start barrel more and the numbers start getting higher and higher and the consistency uh, through the year is going to be way much uh, better. Uh, so that's the thing about getting examples of, okay, what I like also, I want to hit like him. What he can do to be better, you know? And then because I know some kids that want to hit like him. They, I want to do like also. I want to hit like also. Yeah, hit like also. But maybe also can be better too. You get what I'm saying? Maybe you can get the style, but watch out what he's doing, you know? Because he he got the potential to get the bear on time and be consistent in his in, in what he what he's able to do. You're not gonna see this information nowhere else. Oh, this is the Castro Bros. So if you're here with the Castro Bros watching us, you're lucky. No, if if you're he, doing the right thing, you're smart. I, I like I like to if I teaching kids I like to keep it more the most clean I can, like body bones, just because I don't know how athletic that kid's gonna get, you know what I mean? Now also is is a pretty good athletic person, uh, obviously, but I feel like if you teach the kids a more clean swing, you're gonna have better outcome. You know, 
in the in then maybe just uh on athletic kid. If you got an athletic kid and you got a clean swing, you're gonna make the kid look athletic. Yes. And be consistent. That's what yes. I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> People I'm leave, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Huh? Bye. Make sure you keep subscribing. We'll see you on the next video, my people. Bye.